Hi Capricorn, I'm here to do your reading for December and I'm going to do the Gypsy Spread again because I like all the information I get from it. It is really very, very, um, very in-depth and I like that. I like the in-depthness I get from the readings. And the deck I am using today is the Animal Totem Tarot. And they are all animals. This deck is only red in the upright. No reversals. So first I am going to deal out the cards. And then I will read the first column on the right, which is the energy you are bringing into the month of December from November. All right. They do have a little bit different meanings than the traditional tarot, so I was reading the, they have an accompanying book that comes with this deck, so I was reading through that, and I learned a lot about some of these animals that I didn't know. Alright, let's first start with the first column. Maybe I can move some of these up a little. And the first column we have the Six of Swords, the Ace of Cups, and the Death card is, is very, very um, meticulous, very accurate. With the Six of Swords, this flying squirrel needs to be very precise and accurate. And the swords usually represent the mind, the communication, the thought process and stuff. And so you are being very accurate and precise with the way you are articulating and communicating and diving forward and jumping into situations. You are having a lot of help with your um, emotions, with your, your thought process, with your you're um, communicating, you are getting a lot of love and compassion spiritually from the divine and it's just overflowing how much help and care and compassion you are receiving from the divine and from the people around you. There has been a transformation within yourself. You have evolved, you have learned a couple lessons and these lessons are what is is um, projecting you forward. These lessons that you have learned, these aspects of yourself, there's something about yourself that you did not know that you did. And then you realized it and you cleaned it up. You, you stopped doing it. It could have been as simple as somebody at the grocery store saying, do you always count your money backwards or something weird? You know, just total stranger saying something to you. And it's, but I believe it was something more, more um, in depth, something more shocking to you to learn. It was something that actually could have been heartbreaking. And you decided to, to change this part of yourself. It was probably something about your beliefs, your core beliefs, or the way you acted. Something that you have done for years and you didn't realize it wasn't what you thought it was. So in your family life, in your home life, you have the chariot, the tower, and the emperor. You have a victory going on. You are very competent and 
and very precise with what is going on in your home life, your family life. You know what you want to accomplish and you are charging ahead. You know how to how to put things together, how to what is good for you, what what it is that you need to do to help you and your life and your environment. There was something externally within your home life, not you. When we hear the death card, that means you internally, you personally. But the tower is usually somebody else, somebody around you, or some some possession or or something external from you. There was something, someone around you, or something in your home, your house, that had had some kind of problem with it. It could have been as much as like your dishwasher breaking down, or it could have been as extreme as like a divorce or a breakup. So, but there was something in your home life, and it could be you deciding what it is you actually want, and you making that that start of the tower because it shows that you are the master of your domain. You are like this silverback gorilla. You are very sure of yourself. You are the one that is going to provide for your family, for the people around you, and you are not going to tolerate any BS. As you can see with all this food, you're the guardian. You are the person or the one that is in charge. You're the master of this. And you decided enough is enough. And you are the one that started this tower from collapsing, from changing. It needed to change. It wasn't built on a very stable platform. It needed to crumble. It needed to be broken down back to square one to either be rebuilt on a better foundation with a better understanding and a, a more secure situation or it needs to be removed completely. Your desires for the month of December are you have King of Swords, Ten of Swords, and Ten of Pentacles. So, King of Swords. The King of Swords is an air sign, which is a Libra, Aquarius, or a Gemini. And this could be somebody around you with that sign because you don't have that sign. Or it could be you desiring to have this capability to be the eagle, to be the one that can see what needs to be done and will follow through with it. The one that can see far distance, miles and miles ahead or years and years ahead and knows what needs to be done. No more BSing. We'll cut through it all and we'll clear it up. And your desire is for this pain to finally end. Whatever has brought you to this situation has made you desire to be good and, and level-headed and very clear thinking and positive and secure with, with your understanding of what needs to be done. It was because of this pain that brought you to this situation and you desire this to be done with already. And you desire to have financial security throughout your family, your inheritance, your, your heritage, your... This doesn't have to be the family you were born into, this could be your family you created, your family from your friends, from the ones that you have around you, that you made your family, the support, 
You desire to have that ultimate strong support. What you expect to happen in the month is Knight of Cups, Four of Pentacles, and Four of Cups. So the Knight of Cups. Cups is a water sign. It's a Scorpio, Pisces, or Cancer. They are very strong with their emotions. And this is the blue-footed booby. That's what they're called, I believe. And they, when they are very, they're kind of show-offy. And so that's what the Knight of, Knight of Cups is. is very, very um, show-offy, very, very um, to the other to the female, to the other gender or the people they want to pursue. They are very, very um, uh, romantic, very, very loving and, and caring and wanting to woo and date and court. You expect this to continue. You expect either a water sign that is around you to continue to be this very romantic and lovey and dovey and and wooing and compassionate. Or if you have some water signs in your chart, you expect to get this for yourself. You expect to be feeling these feelings for another person. There could be someone in your life that you, I'm not seeing it over here, except the Ace of Cups may be an indication of, of a romance, romantic person or someone that you are attracted to with all the love. But otherwise, I'm not seeing it in the beginning part of the spread. So I do think it's somebody else that is very romantic and, and possibly to you. And you expect this to continue with yourself, for yourself. You expect to still be penny-pinching, to be um, very, very reserved with your resources, very thrifty throughout December. I mean, even if it's the holidays, you, you know where all your money's going. You know where all your time is going and all your energy is going. You need to because you can't afford to, to thriffle away any of it. And with Four of Cups, you are very focused. I can see with the Four of Pentacles and Four of Cups that you are very focused no matter if there is someone that is showing a lot of love to you, you are being very focused and possibly so much so that you are missing out on whatever this cup, this love that this this knight is offering you. Because with the octopus, the octopus is constantly being bombarded with a lot of flashy gems and jewels and things going on or all around, just like we are in, in, in our daily life, be constantly being bombarded with things. And if you paid attention to everything, you would probably go crazy. You need to sometimes um, have tunnel vision and not see all the ads that are on the internet because you wouldn't even remember what you read or what you were watching or, or intentionally putting on the internet if you were too busy watching it, all the commercials. And just like on the road, if you read all those advertisements, all the shops and all the stores that are around you on the road, you wouldn't be able to remember it all. So you can't you can't pay attention to everything. And at this time, you are being very focused. And this is what you expect to happen. What is going to surprise you in the month of December is Three of Wands, Knight of Wands, and the Empress. 
So the Three of Wands, you are going to be surprised at seeing the benefits of what you have put out there finally coming back. You are finally starting to see some some benefits to to your long efforts maybe at work you are starting to see some benefits from that or the time you have spent with friends and loved ones you are finally starting to see some benefits and some some reciprocation from from what you have invested what you have put out there into the universe you are starting to see some things coming back to you in a positive good form and with the knight of wands you are strong strong like an ostrich you are very agile very strong footed and and very good at getting what you need and focusing and going the direction you need to focus because you have a desire you have this passion and it surprises you how much even if you don't know which direction you're going it surprises you how much desire and passion you have and strength and it also surprises you that there is some female around you. This is a female cow that is very fertile. She is pregnant and I don't remember what kind of cow she is, but she is very, very um, nurturing. And there is a female around you that is very nurturing and caring and compassionate. And you are surprised at how how fertile with her thoughts and her ideas and her actions and how much she cares about you. If you're a male or a female, there still is some female around you. This could be your loved one, this could be your mother, this could be a co-worker, this could be somebody around you is very caring and and charismatic and compassionate and very creative too. In your short-term outcome by the end of December you have King of Cups, Four of Swords, and the Moon. So King of Cups, you are the master of your emotions. You have learned to control them when, like the beaver, he is in control of his waterways. He builds dams and redirects the water to go whichever direction he wants. He's able to create his own world. And you are able to create your own world. You are able to share with who you want, when you want, and use your emotions the way you want to use them. You are in control of them. With the Four of Swords, you will get a time to look inwards, to take that time to, to reflect, to pray, to rest, just like the frog, when the desert strikes, it needs water, it needs moisture. Even though it needs the warmth, it needs some time out. It needs to take that rest. You need to take that rest to find out which direction, spiritually, emotionally, that you are headed. Even though it may be dark, the direction you are going, the pathway you are going, and it is, it is, um, it is something that you don't understand, or there is no, a lot of things are hidden to, for you at this time, and, but that's okay, because you are 
you are very strong and good with your emotions. Just take that time out and just continue on. Like the owl can see in the dark, can tell. You too will be able to know what is right, what is wrong, which direction to go. You will see, you will feel it by the end of December. And the long-term outcome, which is within a couple months, two or three months out, you have two of pentacles, the world, and the ace of wands. So two of pentacles, you will be continuing to juggle, juggle responsibilities until you figure it out. In, in two to three months out, you'll still be trying to figure it out. You'll probably need to take a look at what it is that you are juggling and to see if it's even valid or if you even need to continue with it. Because things have changed, as I can see with the world. You have made a major change. This is like a... They described it in, in the... Um, in the Animal Totem Tarot book, guidebook that came with it, that this, this world is like a... Um, it's an ecosystem by itself. It's like a volcano under under the water where things grow, live, and die. Grow, live, and die. It's a world unto itself. This it, it's fascinating. I was reading about it, and it, it it's I didn't know that this existed. It's very interesting, though. And this is exactly what you have been gone. You have just gone through. Within two to three months out, you have just gone through this. So yeah, you are carrying over things from the past you, from your past life, from your past persona that you need to address, you need to look at. You are still carrying them with you. And do you need to anymore? Because you have made a major transformation. You have made a major change and evolution. Is this valid? Is this a part of your life now? So you really need two to three months out. You need to look at what it is you're trying to carry with you and say, hey, do I need to take this with me anymore? Is this a part of my life? And if you don't, then just put it down because then it'll free you up to bring something more into your life, something better. With the Ace of Wands, the Ace of Wands and the Ace of Swords are really good, fortunate cards to get in your reading. So this is a very lucky, fortunate card to get in your reading, especially as the last card. This is two to three months out. <clears throat> you have this new desire, this new spark, as you can see, like this firefly. It's the new, new light, the 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 hope, the direction, the passion, the desire, what you are going to carry forward into the new you, the new life that you are starting, that you are bringing into fruition. Wow. Looks like you are going to have a really good year ahead of you. It ends with this transformation that you made internally, and this external within your home life that you brought on because you have made this transformation you are the emperor you are the master of your own world I'm surprised the magician card didn't show up anywhere in this spread and then in the end you have this new hope this new direction that you are going to go I wish you all the best and looking forward to talking to you again next year. Bless you.